teleprompter and the ridiculous for the first time, just like they are tonight. In case you missed it, here's part of what happened. All right, I get it. It's the candle. I have a candle burning in my office. Oh, really? This is what the ridiculous is about tonight? I didn't, I should have read it ahead of time. Here now is an abbreviated list of what my coworkers say my basil candle smells like. <laughs> Some people say it smells like grandma's house. Some people say it smells like old mall, Italian salad. Here now are some more descriptions. <laughs> Some more staff descriptions of my candle. Dumpster ravioli, Mario Batali's Crocs. Okay, that I draw the line at. I mean, those Crocs must reek, and because uh, he just needs to change his look. But my, there's no way my candle smells like Mario Batali's Crocs. Now, I've had several days to reflect on this. I've actually been talking about it quite a bit in the newsroom and on set during commercials. And of course, around here, the, well, the cameras are always rolling. Seriously, people don't like my candle. <laughs> I love that no one, no one can just say to me, uh, yeah, you know what, we don't like the candle. No, this was not the best way to let me know. <laughs> Joey's just now telling me that you all were asking him to put it out every day. Why didn't you tell me? Forget <laughs> about a Christmas party because I was going to have a candle in my house. Yeah, did I mention on Monday the day these fools blindsided me? Earlier that same day, I had invited them all to a Chris party, Christmas party at my house. Fine. No more candle. Candle's gone. God, that thing's gonna last for months. I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> I love that nobody says anything to me. All right, so no on these candles, I guess. My can that candle smells friggin' awesome. <laughs> I bought like four of those candles. It smells awesome. <sighs> Mario Batali's Crocs. Today, apparently, Mario Batali responded on his show, The Chew. I'm just excited that Anderson Cooper knows who I am. <laughs> but second of all, and I would challenge him, come on. Oh, it's delicious. I could smell that all day. So well, I had an idea. Yeah. Lovely. That maybe we should just send him one of these. Yeah. <laughs> For Anderson Cooper, I got my crock in a box. <laughs> First of all, he gets huge points uh, that he's a good sport about this. And you know what? I hope he really does send that because I will set that crock on fire in the middle of the newsroom and you people will rue the day you ever spoke ill of my candle. That will be the sweet smell of revenge. Or maybe I'll just frame the crock. Well, I don't know.